Hey everyone, I'm Nigel Gardner, a guitar teacher and guitarist based in the Cotswolds in the UK. So this board is a Pedal Train Classic Junior and I have a one spot pro powering everything underneath, which is why it's pretty silent. First thing I'm going to do is put on the SP, Zotic SP compressor paired with the Iridium. Gives everything a bit of consistency, brings up the, the low end slightly. All right, so the DLM drive, the clon side of this DLM drive. Without it, I'm, I'm happy. But I kind of, I do like that breakup thing. So it tends to stay on, to be honest. All right, the Duelist, here we go. Here is the neck pickup with just the twin on the Iridium. And then I put some Tube Screamer on. And then the Blues Breaker. All right, so dry sound with the Iridium. Then I put the flint on. I've got this set to like Fender Spring Reverb, the 60s one. Now here's the mix turned up um, like three quarters. So of course, I'm bringing it down. Uh, top tip for anyone thinking about this kind of thing, dark sounding reverbs are generally preferred, but if you're playing in a band, maybe that dark sound won't cut above the mix and you'll sound like you've got no reverb on. Um, so Matt Schofield, that legendary blues guitar player, uh, said in one of those pedal show episodes, there's an interview with him, he talked about using this deep blue delay and he just had one repetition. So, see that, like a slap back. Bap, bap. I'm gonna put the reverb back on, that's that Fender reverb, with the deep blue delay. Now let's put some Tube Screamer and then Blues Breaker on top of that, so. So here is the Bell Epoch with the flints, but then the, the Bell Epoch is really just for when you want to really use a delay. Check this out. See how the Bell Epoch responds with um, stacking some gain. Blues Breaker 2. So I've got this little pedal here that just controls the tremolo, plugs into the flint. So useful, like I love that.
So the full tone, I remember hearing on that pedal show how you don't need to plug the wah into your board because the batteries last forever. Uh, I totally get that. I, that was such a useful thing to know because now the, so the wah is just optional. It's there if I need it or if I don't. The battery's gonna last, so that's good to know. I guess I don't, I don't leave the cables plugged in like overnight. That's probably the only thing to mention, but <coughs> it's pretty useful to be able to add it or not add it. Anyway, here it is played with this strap. Clean sound. You can really hear the, the frequency band moving up and down. It's not adding or taking anything away, which I really like. All right, so that's my Fender Mexican Strat with this board. Now it's time for the Les Paul. Hey, like magic, right. All right, so I've changed the Iridium now to the punch setting, which is the Marshall on setting C. I use the clock. And then this is the kind of just a straight overdrive. All right, so check it out. I've just pushed up the drive on the Iridium. Then I can just add the clon to that. All right, guys, I hope you found that useful. Um, there you have it, my pedal board from 2020 that I still absolutely love. I'm trying to build a channel around tuition and playing in general and just helping other people out. So I hope this video has gone some way towards that. Um, thanks, I'll see you again. Cheers.